How's it going, YouTube? Today we're doing a review on um, a couple of gas masks, actually. Um, I'll be doing the review on the Canadian C3 gas masks. Yes, I said gas masks because there are different versions of it. Um, there's the standard version that everyone's known to see. The side loaded 60 millimeter filter with the really awesome looking exhale valve. Then there's the, oddly enough, much lesser known in an ironic sense, the 1988 export model. <clears throat> and yes, I said ironic because this was the model that was meant to be sent out to the world. Um, when in reality, most people have the original. There isn't much of a difference, but um, as you can see, for one, it's the exhale valve is a lot different. Sticks out quite significantly more, while the original does not. It has the exact same head harness, the exact same filter, um, you know, the exact same eyepieces. But I'll get down to some of the differences here. For one, the, well, let me start with the original. The original is a nice, soft, uh, matte material, which is very flexible, um, not particularly stiff, but it does have a very, you know, it's the same exact oral nasal cup, very comfortable, so if you don't have a uh, C3, let me state now that they're probably the most comfortable gas masks ever. Easily. Like, most people don't have one of these. Most people don't know. Like, they're like, oh, the, uh, the Avon S10 is the most comfortable, or, uh, whatever, whatever they're fancy. Um, but I have an S10, which I'll do a review on eventually, but it doesn't even compare to the comfort level of the C3s. The only discomfort about these masks is that they're 60 millimeter, so the filter is heavier and you can feel the difference on the side, but it's still far more comfortable than any other mask. Anyway, but like I said, a few quick notes that I've gotten off the track. Soft mat, different, uh, different uh, exhale slash voice diaphragm, um, same with everything else. Now, if you look at the export model, you'll notice that's a shiny, stiff rubber. It's not the same. It's, it's, I mean, the oral nasal cup, of course, is exactly the same as I was saying. Very comfortable. Head harness, exact same. Very comfortable. Um, it's just a stiffer, stiffer rubber. Much stiffer. Um, so it's not as likely to lose its shape. Uh, a few things that I have noticed is that in the difference here, I'm going to take out these filters because they're going to get in the way of me showing you what I want to. If you look at the clamps on the side there and on the front, the clamps that go around to keep the exhale valve and inhale valve um, together is different than the original. Um, because the original one has what looks like, you know, it looks like just a wire material. I mean, I don't have a problem with it because I don't plan on using it to stay alive, but, um, you know, other than those little things that I've actually just noticed, uh, they're the exact same in every possible way. What else can I say? Oh yeah, let me get on to this head harness here. This head harness is very comfortable. It's a um, it's a vinyl material with uh, all elastic six point head harness straps. Uh, same with the 1988 export model. Very comfortable. Fits very flat and comfortably on the back of the head.
the um, the little vices, little clamps for the head harness, the exact same both gas masks. Um, inside of the XL valve, or inside of the voice diaphragm, you can see, let me just get this open here for you. You guys can stare at the 1988 export model. See, so yeah, it's just like a wire material in there. I'm just trying to get the light in there so you guys can see it. Let's see. You guys kind of get the point. But yeah, this, while I'm in here, this oral nasal cup is so comfortable. There's nothing that compares to it. Um. You can see in the top there, there are these lines right there. I'm trying to see if you guys can see them. See it a little bit there. Those are just kind of like structure supports for the mask. It's in both gas masks. I want to say that it's the exact same. Actually, no. Okay, so that's another difference. On the inside of the 1988 export model, the voice diaphragm is a little bit different. It has the same, like, patterned plastic that is on the outside. Whether than, or, instead of a, uh, a wire material that's uh, on the original C3. There's not much else I can say about this mask, or these masks. Um... I want to say that the original C3 was produced in the late 1970s. And then, of course, the export model, the 1988 export model, was made in, well, 1988. Um, masks that came before it were the C2s. The masks that came after it were the C4s. The C4s, if you don't know what they look like, um, I strongly encourage you to go search up the pictures of them and they're very cool looking masks. I don't I haven't seen any reviews on them. But uh if I get a if I get to get one then I'm definitely gonna make a review on one because I really really want one. Um I'm trying to think what else. Not much else to it. So I think that pretty much covers it up. Um I know you guys are tired of me saying it but you know if you like the videos Please put the like button below. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments, put them in the comment section below. And if you guys would do me the favor of hitting that subscribe button, it'd really help out. If you're a fellow collector, and you know, or if you're even just going to start collecting or just want to know more, I strongly encourage you to visit the Facebook page that I'll put in the link below. It is a growing group of friends and you know, you can't really complain about it. Everyone's always friendly to everyone else because everyone's always looking for more information. So don't even be afraid of asking any questions that you would think would be, you know, that everybody should know. And no, 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 no. If you don't know, feel free to ask. We're always there to try and help somebody else, you know, because there's always something you can learn from somebody else. That's the fact of the matter. Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this, this series has been taken off pretty well, pretty satisfied with it. Uh, anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Thank you for watching.